Okay, welcome to the United States and China, uh, turn uh, seven. The uh, Americans on the Atlantic side of the board uh, are spending 15 IPCs on a minor factory and then 32 IPCs on two artillery and eight infantry. Uh, on the Pacific side of the board, they're spending 29 IPCs on a tank, um, a fighter, and they get discounts on their uh, destroyer and transport. They're going to save five IPCs for next turn as well. The um, Chinese are putting uh, six IPCs into two infantry now that they have uh, a couple of places they can put them. Um, there are only two attacks in this round. Both of them are naval. Uh, the American naval forces in C-Zone 91 are going to sail north to C-Zone 112 and attack the uh, German position here. Um, the Germans will probably uh, scramble their air force into the C-Zone and uh, defend those boats. We'll see what happens there. Uh, on the Pacific side of the board, there is only one um, move, and that's uh, C-Zone 16 will be attacked with uh, three uh, fighters and a tactical bomber from uh, C-Zone 16. Oh, uh, uh, along with, might as well bring it, uh, along with a, um, uh, a bomber from um, Hawaii. Why not? It's not doing anything else this turn, so it should be able to uh, participate in the attack. So two, uh, two battles to roll for this turn. Okay, the battle for C-Zone 112. The Americans are coming in with two aircraft carriers. The USS Lake Champlain with a fighter and a tactical bomber. The USS Wasp with three fighters. Remember, these are super carriers. Uh, and then two destroyers. The USS Bainbridge and the USS Parker. One submarine. The SS-21 Blackfish. Two cruisers the USS Augusta and the USS Quincy. Uh, and the Germans are defending with three transport ships, uh, Schiff 41 Cormoran, uh, Steuben, and Schiff 48 Comet, four submarines, U-70, U-78, U-80, U-76, no, sorry, hold on, U-75, my bad. Uh, they're also defending with uh, the aircraft carrier Graf Zeppelin and two fighters, the cruiser Deutschland, and three fighters from their air base. So uh, here we go. Now, the, um, the, uh, uh, the Americans do have a super sub, and there are no... Um, uh, destroyers in the, or uh, German destroyers in the water, uh, so they do get to roll their super sub first, and they miss. Okay, so uh, two twos for the destroyers, two threes for the cruisers, four threes for the fighters, and a four for the uh, tactical bomber. Three hits, so that's going to be three submarines killed. see what happens there <clears throat> okay uh, so four one a three or two a three and five fours one two three four five six seven hits so I am gonna lose a carrier so that's two uh, three four five um, I guess I'll lose two fighters, six, seven. Wow, that was expensive. Well, we'll see what happens next. Um, three of the ones are going away. This may have been a bad attack, I'm thinking. Uh, okay, so we've got left those, those, and that. 
Okay, well, we'll see what happens next. Three hits. So that's one, two, and we'll damage the carrier. Three. So we'll roll these. I suspect this was a bad decision by the American. Two, four, six. Yes, it was. Um, hmm. Two, four, five, six. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, well, I guess we will kill everything but one cruiser, and we will retreat from the battle. This was a not a good plan. This was a silly idea. Uh, so the Germans do successfully defend uh, much of their navy, um, uh, although they have lost a lot of subs. Okay, the battle for Sea Zone 16. Uh, three fighters and a tactical bomber from the uh, USS Hancock and the USS Yorktown aircraft carriers are going up against a Japanese destroyer, the Minigumo. So we have a three threes and two fours. Two hits by the uh, bombers. Japanese defend, and they miss. So the season is cleared at the cost of no American casualties. Okay, non-combat movements for the Americans. Um, they're going to load up an infantry and a tank onto their two transports, and they're going to move those transports to Sea Zone uh, 91 and offload in Spain. They're also going to move this fighter, or sorry, this tactical bomber to Spain, and they're going to move these five transports back to Sea Zone 101 to reload. Uh, there is a mechanized infantry unit in Gibraltar that's going to move north into Spain. Uh, on the Pacific side of the board, um, relatively predictable movement, I think. Um, all of the planes involved in the um, Sea Zone 16 attack, the fighters and the attack bomber will land back on the carriers, and the um, bomber, the strategic bomber, will land back in Hawaii. Um, naval movements a cruiser and a destroyer will move to uh, Sea Zone 20. Six around Hawaii, and one of the destroyers will move to Sea Zone 25 as a blocker. Uh, the fighter from Western United States will land on the carrier because there is room. So I'll tidy up the board, and I'll be right back. Okay, placement of new units. Eight infantry and two artillery into the Eastern United States. And over on the Pacific side of the board, we have um, one fighter, one tank, and a transport and a destroyer into Sea Zone 10. Uh, for the Chinese, there's two places they could put their uh, infantry but I think they're going to choose to put them in Singhai with the Russians. Manchuria would be uh, probably not the best of ideas. Okay, so in terms of money, uh, nothing has changed in terms of uh, where the Americans are on the board. So on the Atlantic side, they're gonna collect uh, 38 IPCs, plus they have two bonuses, a five IPC bonus, for controlling the eastern and central U.S. and a two IPC bonus for Mexico and, and surrounding areas. Uh, the Chinese, of course, have four IPCs to collect, and the uh, Pacific side of the board has a base income of 15. They saved five. They have propaganda, so they are going to collect five more on top of that. Uh, and then they have four bonuses. They have a five IPC bonus for controlling the Western US, a five IPC bonus for controlling Alaska, the Aleutians, etc., and a one IPC bonus for controlling uh, Mexico, and a two IPC bonus for controlling Midway, Wake, and Guam. Uh, so on the Atlantic side of the board, 38, 45, 
and on the Pacific side of the board, 15, 25, 35, 38. Okay, uh, so the Italians are going to be up next. We'll see what they end up doing.